Hey guys, so today I just want to go through my fat rack with you. Um, I just finished making this. I originally had the Thick Boy rack, and I've now upgraded to the Thick Boy 2. So I'll give you guys just a quick look inside the rack, and you guys can just see what's going on inside. First, I'll just show you the base without the rack. So, pretty cool base, made it in Serum. Maybe that'll be another tutorial. So, now let's turn on the Thick Boy. So, as you can see, I've got eight controls here. I've got Input Gain, OTT, Soft ODT, Drive, H Comp, Phaser Mix, Phaser Frequency, and Stereo. Um, if any of you have watched NASCO's live streams, you might notice that this is a similar format to NASCO's Meat Rack. I sort of took inspiration from that. Um, and just changed it up a little bit, though, with some, uh, H Comp and uh, a few other things. So. I'll start with OTT because that's the first plugin in this rack. So it's just your average OTT. Got the amount mapped right there. That sounds pretty good. Um, the next thing I'll go through is soft OTT. So um, what this actually does, I got this from NASCO. What this actually does is, well, it's an OTT, but it's just softer. So I've set the time up to 700. It, it helps the bass retain its timing. Um, as with this OTT, it sort of, sort of smushes it together, as you can hear. This one doesn't really do that. It's still short and punchy, right? I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it stays short and punchy. So, let me put this OTT back. This OTT, so it's just a little bit softer, and of course I've got the amount mapped to soft OTT. And it's got that artifact when you turn on, so I'm gonna leave that off for now. Um, next got a saturator, simple saturator, soft clip on, so it's not clipping. And then I've got the drive and the output mapped to this macro called drive. And when I turn up the drive, basically, it turns up this drive knob, five decibels, and turns down the output, five decibels, so it sort of balances it out. Um, yeah, that's it for the saturator. Um, H comp. Um, I actually got this plug in at um at waves there was a sale on at christmas time and i got this plugin for free which was awesome it's a great compressor if you don't have it um it's basically a glue compressor or just any compressor really like i like this specific one it sounds pretty punchy but anyways i've got a few knobs mapped here um basically what this h comp thing is doing is it's lowering the threshold so as you turn it up it's compressing more and more and as it compresses more and more, it gets softer, so I've mapped it to the output, which raises as I lower the threshold so that it balances, balances out the volume. So that way, you're not getting a very quiet signal or very loud signal. It's sort of gain staging it. Um, in terms of controls for this, I've sort of just got the standard controls. I mean, 7 millisecond attack, 100 millisecond release. It's, like, pretty punchy. Um... I've also just put the ratio to three, just for a, a bit of a harder compression. So anyways, that's it for H comp. So now I've got another compressor, and this is pretty much a copy. Yep, it's a copy. So I'll skip by that. Another soft OTT here, same map settings. Okay, so I've got a phaser here, and I don't always use this phaser. I, I just use it once in a while. And basically, I've got a phaser mix here, which just controls the dry wet of the phaser, and phaser frequency, which controls the frequency of the phaser. Um, if I need, I can go in with the feedback and mess around with that, but I don't often use it. On this particular base, I'm not sure if I need it. Um, then I've got dimension expander, and this is mapped to stereo, so I've turned the size all the way down, just got the dry wet going up a little bit. Fairly simple. It's free plug-in. Get it. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get it on Splice. It's by X for Records. Um, get it if you don't have it. It's a really good plugin. Um, again, another free plugin. Ozone Imager. Get this too. It's uh, by Isotope. Great plugin. Again, map to stereo. I've got this stereoized. Um, and then just got the width going up a little bit. So that just gives it a little bit of stereo depth. Then the legendary sausage fattener. I've got this one mapped to drive. And this one, just turning up the fatness. It's just a very simple rack overall. Um, just lots of distortion, saturation, all that sort of stuff. Compression. Um, 
Okay, and then last two plugins, we've got utility and glue compressor. So I'll open these both up. So what I've got here is I've got my glue compressor with the threshold set pretty far back. Um, got a bit of makeup just to keep the, the gain at a, level, a good level. I've got soft clip on and I've got punchy settings. If you guys don't know, usually uh, a longer attack and a shorter release um, results in a punchier sound. And ratio is just set to four, that's the default setting. And what I've got here is I've got input gain, and what this does is it takes the gain, it raises it up, obviously, or you can turn it back, but since this is on soft clip, it sort of drives it in like a limiter. So if you if you really want to like level the sound out and get a really limited sort of sound, you just push it all the way up, and this will level it out. This is really handy if you want to really compress that sound at the end of the signal chain. So that is uh, my Thick Boy Rack. Um, now I'll mix this into the sound. So, I've already mixed in the OTT. I'll drive it up a little bit. And I'll get some soft OTT in there. Just a little bit of that. Um, H comp. Okay, that's really smushing it. Let me turn down the soft OTT for a sec. Get some stereo in there. And I don't think phaser works for that sound. It doesn't work. Um, I'll leave that off. But anyways, this just gives you a lot of flexibility just by mapping. And it pretty much works for any sound because you can sort of customize. So I'll leave a link in the description for if you guys want to download this rack. And yeah, that is my Thick Boy rack. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope to see you in the next one.